Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bobby's World. I'm Howie, and today's show is going to be more fun than flossing. That's right, because today's show is in 3D. Except that, um, okay, the guys at the TV station <laughs> forgot to send you glasses. <laughs> so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get up every so often, whenever you want, and run toward the TV like that, so it'll seem like we're coming toward you. But it's going to be a lot of fun, like, uh, like building a fort. A fort. Building a fort is fun because, uh, well, it, it's good because it causes peace throughout the world, and it's fun because, uh, because... <laughs> Well, uh, you tell Bobby, because I I'm just going to go change into a cartoon. <laughs> okay, Dad. Um, I, I like forts because you can, you can be in a secret place where nothing can find you. You didn't panic, and you headed for the doorway. Good boy. I did? Sure looked like I panicked to me. <gasps> I absolutely love your fort. But uh, next time, you know, I'd nail the blankets to the furniture. Ted? <laughs> well, you know, so they won't fall down. Ted, now don't put those gee golly ideas into his head. <gasps> Oh, sis, I was just kidding. Bobby knows that, don't you? Oh, Ted. Hey, uh, help me out here, Bobby. Uh, um, Mom, Uncle Ted was just kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's, uh, you see, I, 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 I was just... Uh-oh. Uh when Uncle Ted can't think of anything to say, I get noogies. What time for noogies? Told ya. Oh, I can't but Honestly, you two, get... Hey, your fort reminds me of when I used to go camping. Hey, you want to go camping with me? Sure. Great idea. Yay! I can get more blankets and put my fort back together. No, not in the living room. Let's do it like real men, isolated from civilization. <laughs> Here we are, away from the comforts of home, confronting nature mano a mano. You're not a man until you go one on one with the wilderness boy. Where are we going, Uncle Ted? The North Pole? No, better than that. We're camping in the backyard! Yeah. Didn't you forget something, dork? You're gonna be outside. So? All night. So? In the dark. So? And you're, you're afraid, afraid of the dark, remember? Come on, Bobby. Let's go shopping. Uncle Ted has great timing. Wow. Great store, Uncle Ted. Okay, fan out. Buy stuff that 
looks fun. Well, you got your tent, sleeping bags, camouflage gear, survival kit, anything else? Oh boy, socks in a can. Man, I've been looking all over for these. You know, they make great wedding gifts. Hey, Uncle Ted, can I get one of these? Sure, bring two. Well, I'll play with you. How many weeks are you going out for? One whole night in my backyard. Backyard, huh? Then you'll need one of these. A Super Terminator 9000 Bug Zapper. You know. Well, take it. Right, Uncle Dick? Sure, go ahead. I borrowed your dad's charge card. I'd say you're prepared for just about anything. Especially if you're scared of the dark. Ready for my first cap out! Just stick to the trail, Bobby, and you'll be all right. You're not a man until you go one on one with the wilderness. Well, here we are, Bobby. Just you and me. Take a deep breath, huh? Uh, we're camping out. Uh, I, I, I don't think you should plug that in. Oh, nonsense, Bobby. Here's to roughing it. Uh-oh. Uh, Uncle Ted, it's, it's pretty dark. Oh, that's okay, Bobby. Your old Uncle Ted's got the situation well in hand. <gasps> now we're living like the pioneers did when they drove covered wagons across this great country of ours. Pie and ears drove wagon trains. <laughs> Those ears must have really big Q-tips. Pizza's ready! This is neat. You know, it makes me think that Uncle Ted would be a great dad. Yeah. Uncle Ted! <laughs> Bobby, how was school today? You don't make me go to school, remember? That's right, and I don't make you clean up your room either. I must be dreaming. Here, Bobby, it's your turn. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, perfect game. I love bowling on TV. Makes me hungry for pizza. Mmm, <laughs> pizza. Uncle <laughs> Tom, the cheese is so gooey, I can't cut it. Leave it to me, Bobby. No, no, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look, little booger cheese. <laughs> ah, pizza, comic books, no brother or sister to bug me, no mom to make me go to bed. Is camping great or what? Why was I so worried?
talking about sleeping outside in the dark. <laughs> What's that? Oh. Ah. Hey, hey, it's me, Uncle Tad. I knew that. Can somebody tell me why it's fun for big people to scare little kids? Gee, Uncle Ted, look at all the stars up in the sky. They kind of look like the sprinkles on a big donut. I've been hit! I've been hit! I'm going down! Uncle Ted, you're not paying attention. I'm talking about the stars. Aren't they amazing? Nah, but if you really want to talk about them, well, there's the Milky Way. And over there, that's, uh, that's uh, the Big Dipper. See it? Right next to that group that uh, looks like a horse uh, going uh, into an apartment building. That one. All I see is a great big hot dog on a, on a giant bun. You're right. Let's eat. We could roll some marshmallows. Yeah. Now, where did I put those things? I see them, Uncle Ted, but... But... What? What? Oh, boy. These are roast up real good. <laughs> boom! 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 Yeah, Bobby, the pioneers sat on their marshmallows, too. Hey, Bobby, did I ever tell you the story about the green fog? The green fog? Mm, no. Well, Bobby, a long, long time ago, way before there were real estate salesmen to sell houses around here, this whole area was inhabited by strange monsters. It was? Oh, yeah. They'd roam by night looking for parking. And ever since then, people say that late at night, whenever the green fog comes rolling in, you can see the huge blood-sucking monster and the swamp creature holding hands and skipping through the night. Bobby? Bobby? Wow! Uncle Ted, are you afraid of the dark like me? Oh, Bobby, being afraid of the dark is really only the fear of the unknown. What's the unknown? Uh, your Aunt Ruth's age. <laughs> just kidding, Bobby. Come on, don't be afraid of the dark. It's just daytime with the lights out. Well, then I shouldn't be afraid of a burning tent, right? Huh? Holy smokers! <laughs> Call 911! I'll get the garden hose! Uncle <laughs> Ted, you can't put out a fire with a snake. <laughs> well, Uncle Ted, if you want to call quits and go in, it's okay with me. Going in? Going in? We're not quitters. All we need are some sheets to cover those holes. And, and, and some blankets to sleep on? <laughs> That's the spirit. I'll straighten up out here. Now, Bobby, you go to the house and get the sheets and blankets. You mean... me? Go all the way to the house in the dark? I'll watch the house. You watch for Uncle Ted's green fog. <laughs>
just kidding. <laughs> you know, Roger, there's really nothing to be afraid of out here in the dark. It's just my backyard. And for you, straw man, for being fire retardant, I give you the housekeeper's seal of approval. And to you, Tin Man, for conscientiously recycling, I give you this bicycle made from your ex-wife. It's a girl's bike. Don't sit on my head! And Bobby, for overcoming your fear of the dark in your own backyard, I hereby give you and Uncle Ted these sheets and blankets. Thanks! What about my dog? <laughs> I'm a wizard, not Santa Claus. Well, so much for happy endings. Whoa, great! Blankets and sheets! Hey, what took you so long? <laughs> Run into any blood-sucking things in the dark? No! There's no monsters, Uncle Ted. Things just look different in the dark. Good night, Uncle Ted. I love you. Oh, gosh darn things. Good morning, Uncle Ted Fish. Morning, Bobby Fish. You sure is neat camping underwater, huh? I don't know. I don't think this aquatic living is all it's cracked up to be. I mean, what's so great about it? I'd like to hear one good reason. Uh-oh, I shouldn't have said that. Now underwater, nothing smells bad. That's why underwater is the best time you'll have. No matter how deep down in the water you sink, the beautiful thing is those fish don't stink. Rockin' where the fish don't stink, yeah. Fish don't stink. Underwater, the fish don't stink. Oh, come on, not even 10-year-old gym socks? No. Even garbage trucks or broccoli? Not even that. So down here, mommies can't have fish, because they just can't smell stinky arm bits. But up above, I don't care if you're friend or foe, a day in the sun and you got me, oh. <laughs> Tell me where the fish don't stink, yeah. Fish don't stink. We don't know no, the fish don't stink. Bobby, you smell something? Not that uh, maybe it's just me. You mean nothing smells? Shark, squid, a nice smelly... No, nah, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bobby, get busy. Now, Roger's breath is a terrible odor. Oh, yeah. Especially now that he's getting older. Mm -hmm. But underwater, he can come right up to your face. Go ahead. I'm telling you, that's the beauty of this place. It, it don't stink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fish don't stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry I didn't sing sooner. Oh, that's okay, because you're singing out of tuna. Ha, <laughs> ha. You get it? You don't get the whole tuna thing, do you? Thank you, boys. A wonderful, wonderful. What if we ate garlic out her ears and didn't change her underwear? What if we didn't brush our teeth or wash our hair or take a bath for a year? Yeah. That'll probably stink, but that's the only thing because... Fish don't stink, underwater the fish don't stink. Oh, sing it, filet of soul, brother. Fish don't stink, underwater the fish don't stink. Come on, Bobby, sing with us. Okay. Fish, fish don't, don't stink, underwater the fish don't stink. Take your time! Hockey shockers, look out! The pioneers never had automatic sprinklers! Whoa! Sorry I forgot to tell you about the automatic sprinklers, Ted. Hey, <laughs> no problem. Uh, stuff happens. No problem, Uncle Ted. Hey, I know where we can camp out. Hey, uh, I thought I'd come out and join you. I didn't think you wanted to camp out with us. Sure, here. You can use my sleeping bag. It's 
an old one. Really? Gee, thanks. When older brothers want to share, it means they're missing out on the fun. Well, like, I, I figured, like, you could use some tunes, you know? Hey, hey, speaking of tunes, take a listen to this. Uncle Ted, it still works. Someone's camping my lord in the yard. Someone's camping my lord in the yard. What's a family for? Someone's camping my lord in the yard. Oh, my lord. In the yard. If it wasn't for me, this family wouldn't have any fun at all. There'll be marshmallows, my lord, in the yard. There'll be marshmallows, my lord, in the yard. But they'll be s'mores. Yo, Bobby, you have a good time camping? It was lots of fun. I learned how to sit on marshmallows and swim in a tent. And <laughs> wow. Sounds like Bobby had a great time. Hope you had a great time. Oh, maybe you did that 3D thing. Did you do that? We well, ran toward the TV and it made it. Did you, well, even if you didn't, it was great. It was a lot of silly things today, huh? Uncle Ted sitting on marshmallows. That could only happen on TV. You gotta be a goofball. Well, until next time, bye from Bobby's world. He's <laughs> sitting on marshmallows. Thank <laughs> you.